Hi, in this video we will cover a demonstration of the Branch Management REST API. This API was released on Red Hat PAM 7.7, which is based on JBPM 7.33. Let's start from scratch with an empty space. But first, let's understand the new API. With it, you will be able to compile, install, test, deploy, get, add, and delete branches. Let's get back to the Postman. Let me show you a couple of these APIs. We should start by adding a project so we can interact with its branches. To add a project, we should do a post request to the Business Central URL, specifying the name of your space, in this case it's my space, and on the body, you should put the name of the project you want to create. I'm creating here a project named Sample Project. And once I submit this request, you will see that an asynchronous job will start and my output will be the job ID. The status is approved, so it probably ex started executing. We can use this other API to check the status of this, of this job. Business Central is telling me that it was approved. And if you notice on the background, my project just came up. So if I call this URL again, you will see that the job was executed with success. I will now quickly add a message to our project so we can see the branch creation effectively. A simple object, a personal object with an attribute name of type string. Done. There it is. So let's add a new branch based on branch master. To do that, we should do a post to and specify the name of your space, the name of the project, and on the body, you will mention the name of the branch, in this case, develop, and the base branch. So which branch will you copy the new branch from? Business Central already shows our develop branch, which we just created. Let's now uh, compile this branch to confirm it is actually working. I will do a post and notice now I mention the develop branch and I say that I want to execute a Maven compile on my URL. The output will be a job ID. So if I copy this ID and go into the jobs URL, I can check its status and confirm the output. A successful build. Finally, let's delete this branch. So we should invoke an HTTP delete, specifying the name of our branch on the URL. So basically, when we do that, we get again a job ID. And if you look back to Business Central, you will see the branch was already deleted. So feel free to download these requests. The link is on the description along with a whole blog post with detailed information about this API. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.